Fantastic short but intense trip to Ibiza, just four days. So good. So the question is, is it worth it to just go on a vacation for a couple of days? Today. I like to take a break from time to time, just a long weekend, let's say Friday to Monday or Friday to Tuesday, something you can always squeeze in between. And what my friends ask me is how do I stay connected without being torn away during such a weekend and still enjoy being here? And to me there are different modes, fighting mode when you're like into, you want to go out, you want to communicate, you want to do a lot of stuff and there's a focus mode when you really focus and think of your stuff and I separate between these two modes. I did that when I understood that we have the same in sleeping. When we sleep, we take a while until we fall asleep and then after a while we have the deep sleep phase and then the called REM sleep phase, rapid eye movement phase. And this goes back and forth, back and forth until we wake up and ideally we wake up when we have this REM phase again. What they found out is that you have these phases during the day as well. So you have certain phases when you're like more awake and aware and phases when you really have a low phase. So the most important thing to me to stay connected and manage easily all the stuff are the notifications on the phone. The only notification I switched off is the notification for emails, everything else I receive on the phone. Why do I do that? I mean WhatsApp, Facebook messages, Slack messages are all short messages so it's easier for me to keep things in the flow. That's usually what's most important and now we go for breakfast. Multitasking on all the different channels. Mm, I'm not differentiating between business and personal stuff. Oh, you mean also social media stuff? So managing Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter at the same time. In the old days, you would have said no real communication with business partners is you make a phone call or you write an email. And I think now this is part of the whole game of staying connected with everyone. It's actually a communication tool. And that's how I see it. That's why I have a very professional approach on these channels. I, I make time for it in between. Bye, David. Bye. getting harder like to find free time and to really deep dive into something for two reasons number one is a lot of distractions around us and number two is we're just not trained to that anymore that's why I try to do it on a regular basis I'm now flying back to Hamburg and give a speech tomorrow in Berlin so I'm flying now from Ibiza to Hamburg for like three hours I will try to edit a movie which needs much attention it's not something you do just right away you really need to edit and look for the details so that's a good training to get back into the focus mode and what I really like to do, I like to differentiate between my phone and my laptop for different kind of tasks. So laptop now for movie editing and stuff where I really need to deep focus and the phone for all the fast, fast, fast communication. What's happening to my eyes? So, phone for my fast communication, laptop for all the stuff I really need to deeply focus and now I really need to board the plane.